Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. Here at my favorite store, bit of a dreary day, bit of a gloomy day, a little rainy, not what you'd associate with the beach, but there's beach umbrellas on sale. And I love camping in anything that's not a tent, so let's try this out. So yes, in there there's clearly no shortage of tents, but this is what I'm after. I'm getting out of the city so I can unleash this on an unsuspecting campground. Clearly this thing is not gonna work for stealth. Flying a big blue beach umbrella is not uh, gonna blend in anywhere other than the beach. So, I'm gonna try this out and uh, maybe there's a way to camouflage in the future because it's just such a neat concept. Nature. Drink it in. A lot of mosquitoes. Let's tame this nature a little bit. Thermosel goodness. So, here we go. Uh, no proper shelter for me tonight. An outbound brand. Uh, umbrella shade parasol. It's Canadian Tire's version of uh, Ozark Trail. Uh, kind of your affordable, run-of-the-mill, everyday man solution to complex camping problems. And set this up. It's based on an umbrella and from the reviews don't try to set it up in the wind by yourself. Um, Isn't that sweet? Underneath it here I can uh, sleep pretty comfortably I think. I've got a little sleeping pad that might fit in here, which will be nice if it does. It comes with stakes. Plastic stakes. This is hard, hard ground. So I might have some others in the car that will work. But uh, it's roomy. Shouldn't blow away at all. Really going to be counting on the thermosel to keep the bugs away tonight. Because uh, <laughs> there's no screen. You probably could easily put one on. And actually if the rain starts coming in on this direction, we'll put up another tarp. But, Little ground cloth here. Little is right. Does it fit? Kinda. Yeah. That'll do. <laughs> awesome. There we go. This actually is really nice. You could get a couple, maybe even three chairs in here, in the shade or out of the rain, whatever the case may be. And uh, you can tie this down for extra security. Nice. In typical Steve fashion, I realize I've set this up upside down. It should be the other way because these are little storage pouches for down there and the guy lines are attached to that side and this has got like a more reflective sun protective coating so we're gonna see if we can flip this around how tricky could that be right Just when I thought I couldn't love this thing anymore. Wow. With the arduous task of setting this up completed, time for a step two, my friends. Mm. Wow. Not cheap beer. Tastes amazing. Perfect. And uh, get this set up in a little bit. We're gonna cook on the fire tonight. And yeah, we're in a campground, so. This at least kind of looks like a tent from the road. Nobody can actually see, I'm just here 
uh, using this as kind of like a heat reflector by the fire. The thermocell insect repeller is doing its job quite nicely. Uh, it was kind of swarming with mosquitoes when I showed up, and now I'd be hard pressed to find one, so thumbs up for that. Here's all the mosquitoes, they got trapped in here. Great. Uh, this parasol, once it's set up correctly, the guy wires are here so I can stake those out. I don't know how much wind you really want to be around in, in these things. You know, they're designed for the beach. They've got little window flaps here that open up. Seems to be a storage compartment on each side there that Velcro's open. So, camping in here, I can I won't put the bear spray in there because it's really hard to open. Good quality Velcro. Could actually throw in a little extra weight in there to hold it down. Then there's other various satchels. Uh, it looks like you'd get wet if it rained because there's these vent holes that just open to screens and then that just drips. Yeah, I can actually stick my hand right up the back here. So, not the best in that regard. Uh, but if it starts raining, I'll scooch forward a little bit so I don't get drenched. And this is a fine shelter. Campsite came equipped with a pre-seasoned fire poker. It's even got a uh, little duct tape wrap on there. I won't get any slivers. See, just like that. Public campgrounds. With all the foliage on the trees this time of year, it's a lot trickier to see your neighbors. If I expect to eat tonight, I'm gonna have to gather some firewood. From my car. Starting a fire. Uh, the oldest profession. There's a lot of ins and outs and what have you, uh, a lot of various ways to do it. Some people go really old school with uh, sparkers. Uh, sometimes I cheat and use a blowtorch. Today, we're doing it the old fashioned way. You uh, light the bag on both sides where the log is, and you put it down, and it should burn for three hours. I <laughs> believe that when I see it. But if it burns long enough to start the rest of this uh, damp, damp wood, I'll be very pleased. Light there, light there, and in she goes. Scavenged logs are dry, but they've been out in the rain. So. The crusty old stump behind me is attached to a huge tree, and it's a prime example of the worst possible Widowmaker. You can come across very shallow roots, the whole thing ripped up and tipped over. Thankfully it went that way away from the campsite, but if the wind were blowing a different way, it would have came down right over here on my umbrella. Ella. Well, well, it's time to prep some dinner. It'll be a foil pouch tonight, because uh, they're oh so easy. And uh, making some pierogies in a foil pouch with, uh, of course, some sausage and uh, onion, butter. Wrap it up, throw it on there. Couldn't be easier. I got the biggest onion they legally sell. Probably half of that should be good for my needs. Nothing safer than a dull knife, am I right? Onions are one of those things like mushrooms. They'll cook down to like nothing left. So, I like to have lots of them. I'm gonna start with a good base of butter. Lob off a few chunks of this institutional looking butter. It's uh, the cheap kind. A bit of better butter. Some sausage. All right. Then, 
pierogies. These ones are cottage cheese flavored because I like them for some reason. They're, uh, they used to be frozen. Now they're just somewhere in a state in between. Uh, Fire's just struggling to exist right now. I'm sure we all know that feeling. But when she uh, gets a little more uh, ferocious, stick this on for a long, slow cook. See, it's not that much food for one person. Good to minus seven degrees Celsius. Shouldn't be that cold tonight. For those that are new here on this video, perhaps you don't know how you ended up here. Maybe you woke up in the middle of the night and this was just playing. <laughs> uh, I do weird camping and there aren't many creepy crawlies around here. There could be possibly garter snakes, but nothing uh, venomous or anything like that. Uh, spiders, we may have a brown recluse or two, but they're very, very rare. So I feel very comfortable sleeping here, aside from the mosquitoes and meat wasps. Um, right under the stars here basically and uh, this will be a good setup for the night and for those that have <laughs> stumbled down this rabbit hole uh, it gets weirder um, it does the little fire that could great I'm gonna keep this off to the side a bit because these pierogies I usually boil them then pan fry them and we're just gonna try to do that all with the steam and uh, moisture out of the uh, onions and the butter so I don't want to char anything I just want to basically simmer this thing right in the foil pouch. I know I can't be the only person thinking that two of these would make a full tent. And uh, this pole comes out right to about the middle. And you could probably sleep three or four people in here. You'd have to come up with some velcro or something to join them in the middle or throw a tarp over top to seal it up. Um, I do recall reading maybe on the comments of this product that this thing comes off somehow. I haven't had luck with that but that would be really really slick. Um, I'm a huge fan of things that set up like that and this fits the bill. Of course I am aware that for probably less money I could get something of equal quality that's actually designed for this uh, specific task. But it's not quite my style. I'm going to push the limits of what this thing can do and uh, then it's multi-purpose because there's a lot of seasons of this year where there's not a ton of mosquitoes and not a ton of rain. So I think this uh, fits the bill perfectly. You can't beat how easy it sets up. There's no poles to lose. Uh, it does need some pegs but real quick easy solution uh, and you get the fire right here acts like a little reflector doesn't get any better than this let's find out it's going to be burned is it going to be delicious foil pouches are pretty forgiving usually 
and uh, oh, no exception in this case. That looks like it worked pretty good. Nothing, uh, nothing is burned. Things look pretty cooked generally. Yeah, it's uh, onions down at the bottom. How did they do? Don't worry about those. Oh no, they're they're perfect. They're translucent. Uh, yeah, so this I'm stir it up a little bit here, but yeah, so foil pouches. Yum. They uh, foil pouches concern me sometimes because I can't tell really how cooked they are. <laughs> you just open it up and find out, and we did. So sour cream time because <sighs> the, the butter wasn't enough. Um, a couple of dollops of that, and yeah. Quite good. Wrapped in foil. I think I'm doing a lot of meals wrapped in foil lately. I should probably uh, move on to on a stick or deep fried. Then balance it out with a salad. Mm. Oh, this worked out perfectly. Three thumbs up. This is uh, this is something I would do again for sure. Let you know the reason I'm doing this meal tonight. Uh, I like to support local, and I went into the uh, small town grocery store, and their freezer was down. I initially planned uh, Swedish meatballs with some asparagus, but the asparagus—it's late in the season, and those asparagus shafts are like the girth of a hot dog, right? Like they're late in the season. They're not those early spring ones that are nice and easy. These things you can probably cut them in half and count the rings. So, I looked through the freezer department, pierogies were in there, yeah, the sausage, and onion, mm. man oh man, this is satiating, and I love being satiated. So obviously pretty comfortable in here. You can easily do this. Uh, <laughs> not even a problem. Uh, the weather's beautiful. Uh, what more can you ask for? So about time to crawl into the sleeping bag here and uh, sit back and listen to the crackle of the fire and uh, drift off to dreamland. All right. Of course, part of the joy with central Alberta campgrounds. It's the road noise. Gotta go a little further to get away from uh, civilization, but I'm just very pleased that these places uh, exist and that they're relatively well treated. You know, a lot of nature. Can't ask for a whole lot more. So, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, what a fine sleep. Um, I'm feeling fresh as a biscuit and ready to gallop through the day. Uh, this sunshade is just perfect because uh, I managed to sleep in a little more than normal on a camping trip. Usually the sun is beating right through uh, the windows of the tent uh, very early in the morning and it gets sweltering hot, but I found this very refreshing, uh, easy sleep. Um, had a little uh, wasp buzzing around this morning, but other than that, um, this worked out great. This has been pretty much the weather that I normally see through most of the summer here. Um, not a lot of wind, not a lot of rain, uh, pretty boring 
but nice weather. Uh, so that's how I can get away with this type of stuff. Like, I don't think it would have blown off in any serious way. Definitely not as badly as that bubble wrap shelter. This is actually pretty secured. So I'm pleased with, uh, pleased with all of this. Your results may vary based on your location. Of course, a very special thanks to all the fine supporters of the channel. Uh, happy birthday to all of those of you having birthdays, uh, anniversaries, graduations, um, congrats on your new jobs, etc. Uh, everybody lets me know, and I just uh, scroll the names for everybody to see. Uh, you're all you're all awesome folks. Will it come down as easy? I think so. And the moment of truth says, get the bugs out of it first. A little spider dangling there. Okay. Ha. First time taking it down. Not bad. The next part of the new gear trials is does it fit in the bag it came with? Not off to a good start so far. Okay, will it bag? Yes, it will. See? Walk right on off. Wow, I put all the food stuff in here last night, and it smells like there was an explosion in an onion factory in there, so. Goodbye, new car smell. I'm um, gonna have to take this into a car wash today and do a little detailing work because I've been putting it through a lot of camping and I feel pretty bad. So thanks everybody for watching yet another unsolicited camping video. Um, if you feel like you're up to the challenge, please consider subscribing because uh, these, uh, they're up pretty much every week. Um, wrap it up on a quick few odds and ends. Um, I ordered a whole bunch of that rail to build my homemade railway and uh, there's supply chain issues. So um, these are not a normally used piece of equipment from Home Depot. Uh, and Home Depot, it tends to be about five bucks cheaper per rail than actual fencing supply stores. So I'm gonna scavenge um, the remaining inventory I can store by store. So it's gonna be a lot of driving to every Home Depot in the area to wipe them all out of um, top fence rails so heads up if you need one or two of these things get them now in the Edmonton area because I am going to be swooping in and getting all of them uh, so public service announcement there and um, yeah that's pretty much where we're at I'm gonna be at the acreage for the next few days um, and I I got a stealth one that I'm waiting for the perfect weather for because I really want a stormy stealth camping trip uh, that's just a challenge. I think I've done maybe once before maybe twice. It's normally the cold weather where I'm really struggling with uh, <laughs> With the elements, but I love like a good rainy one where I just sit under my uh, hammock or under some tarps and You know pretty much make a day of it, uh, you know Browse the internet play some cards a little solitaire in there or something uh, Cook a good meal some hot chocolate Dump in a generous portion of Bailey's that type of a thing. So uh Stay tuned for that, and um, I do have actually a, pre a couple of pretty cool ideas coming up, so um, I'll be working on those throughout the weekend, uh, as well as other duties at the acreage. So, thank you all for watching. We will see you next week. Now you've been camping with Steve.